Hello, I'm Adam Gabbert, and uh, if I seem a bit relaxed and giddy right now, it's because the CEO of Think, his name is Izzy Goldwasser, just came round. Hi Adam, how are you? I'm very well. With his device, and you put it on your head, and um, they say it can relax you, calm you right down, or energize you. I did the calm one, and I did it for quite a long time and uh, felt very relaxed, still do. I went out onto Broadway, people, traffic, horribleness, and um, I was fine. Yeah, I feel quite relaxed, actually. Just like um, where you start to get a bit of tiredness or just relaxation, it feels like your eyes are just kind of a bit more chilled out. What is actually going on here? What's happening is you're using our neuro-signaling algorithms or programs to activate nerves on your face, that connect a part of your brain that helps regulate your stress response. So with a calm vibe, you're down-regulating your stress response. It's activating the parasympathetic system, which is your rest and digest uh, sort of response that you have. Also, I feel quite giggly, even though I'm right in the middle of the road, but I suppose there's something inherently quite amusing about having this strapped on your head and almost getting run over. Could you get addicted to this? I'd already had 10 minutes, but I just quite liked it, so I did it on again. I hope you can't overdose. We don't touch any of the pathways that are known to be chemically addictive pathways. We've Good seen, idea. yeah, we, we don't see any addiction, other than, of course, if you enjoy it, the same way you're addicted to your phone, or some, something else you'll enjoy, you want to do it again. But there's no withdrawal or any of those things. Izzy told me a bit about science, which I, uh, took all of it in, obviously. I'm just gonna put this on again and give myself another blast. And um, yeah, so you can actually buy them now and it feels good. They have to run one of these four courses which uh, simulate the process of shutting down a nuclear reactor. Uh, the inspiration for the whole thing was the Fukushima Daiichi disaster in 2011.